Well, we were thinking about seating and we wanted somehow to create more focus on, on the experience. So you, would, you would surrender yourself and uh, so you would be able to walk up to this boat and uh, use your phone to log into a homepage. We then can plot the course on something like Google Maps. You can then put down your phone and the boat will then take you for, for a journey and uh, you can be fully immersed in this experience. So you'll be sitting on the same level as the water. Well, we had never built a boat before, so um, we got help from a uh, boat builder called Will Reed. And uh, it was very, very useful to work with him. Um, he's a very skilled craftsman, so we learned a lot of, of the shaping of the boat as well. Uh, There's a lot of uh, things we didn't know before. We veneered American uh, sherry on the sides and uh, the bottom and we used uh, American white oak for the keel because it's, the keel will take a lot of abuse and uh, it's meant to protect the engines. So uh, we needed something very heavy and very robust. It's been great, the facilities uh, excellent and uh, very, very kind with us. They've taken very good care of us. It's, uh, it's been wonderful. All timber has different texture, face. I have to think which grain should be, which direction, and it's really beautiful material to work with. So my final prototype of for the timber chair is made with uh, ash and walnut, which gives a color contrast, and I really like using different timber in one chair. My starting point for folding chair was uh, making some beautiful sculpture by wood. So I uh, started make sculpture using chair components. And then after that, I tried to find how to open it. That uh, gives some asymmetry st structure. Also this uh, like gateway table opening mechanism. For the life cycle assessment, I learned how much we are using energy for manipulate the material of timber. Counting all the time for electric tools, it's really helped me how much we're using uh, energy working with wood.